a little while ago, I made a tutorial showing you how to work with HDR content in the Adobe products and some of the things to watch out for when you did. Today, I wanted to quickly show you how to export HDR content in ProRes and HEVC HDR10. Hey, I'm Sam with Billetto Services. I'm an independent filmmaker, colorist, and expert in video technologies, including HDR video. Let me quickly show you first how to export HDR content out of Adobe Premiere and After Effects. Then we're going to look at a few things to watch out for, especially in After Effects. To export in ProRes from Premiere or Media Encoder, set the format to QuickTime and the codec to Apple ProRes 422HQ or higher. Make sure render at maximum quality is checked, set the output to Rec 2100 PQ or HLG, and change the bit depth to 16. Run your export. To export in HEVC, set the format to HEVC H265, switch to main 10, and turn on Rec 2020 color primaries, high dynamic range, and include HDR10 metadata. Set your HDR10 metadata and export. From Adobe After Effects, send your compositions to Adobe Media Encoder and follow the AME settings. Using After Effects Render Queue won't include proper HDR metadata in video files. So, where can things go wrong? In Premiere and Media Encoder, Adobe's simplified a lot of the process with the last few version updates, allowing you to access HDR directly when you choose ProRes exports and HEVC. However, to make it work in ProRes, you need to turn on Render at Maximum Depth and have ProRes 422 HQ or better selected to enable the HDR support. You need to set the bit depth to 16 to prevent banding. If you don't, you'll be exporting in SDR. Adobe's made it easier to do the SDR exports from your HDR for ProRes by giving you three brightness matching functions for deciding what your SDR white level should be. You should note, however, that if you're monitoring an HDR and exporting an HDR with content coming from After Effects, either as a standalone composition or as part of a premiere sequence, you need to set this HDR graphics white value to 100 nits. Otherwise, the encoding engine may adjust your output brightness with HEVC mode, you have to switch it into main 10 mode to enable the Rec 2020 color primaries option, which flagging on will enable high dynamic range as an export option. If you need to render to HEVC or AVC in SDR from your HDR sequences, use the SDR conform option in the effects pane to dial in the brightness and contrast you want in your SDR. In After Effects, you have to export your HDR content using AME instead of the render queue. All formats will export in SDR out of the render queue, except for 32-bit floating point TIFFs and 32-bit floating point OpenEXRs. As a note, the floating point TIFFs will end up in Adobe's proprietary internal HDR format rather than a standard PQ or HLG format making them difficult to use in other applications. If you do need to export TIFFs or DPX from After Effects, you can add on a color profile converter adjustment layer to your entire composition that adds a Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4 to Rec. 2100 PQ conversion. Flag it on before exporting and you'll pre-conform your HDR data into the right format for TIFFs. The Gamma format Adobe uses is slightly different than Gamma 2.4, but it's the closest option and only results in minor contrast shifts. If you keep this adjustment layer on while you work, set your IO device settings to Rec. 709 SDR, and then interpret the signal as HDR at the display. That'll let you see the output with the most accurate contrast. 
I hope you find this video useful in your HDR workflows. Adobe is constantly updating their products, so use this as a starting point to figure out how they've changed and updated their export options in the future. If you want to elevate your shooting for HDR and mastering of the HDR workflow, head over to masterhdrvideo.com and take my course from scene to screen, the HDR image pipeline to start mastering the medium today. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more tips, tricks, and tools for working in HDR video. Until next time, I'm Sam Bilodeau, and I'll see you soon.